Hello everybody, my name is Pizza and I make content that helps people live their best lives and become their true and highest self. This video is a part of my Manifesting a Good Grade series designed to help people manifest good grades. If you want to see my other videos, there will be a playlist linked down in the description box below with my Manifesting a Good Grade series. The other videos are really helpful too. Today's video is about the top reasons why we get bad grades in college. Bad grades can totally push us off track and make us think, why is this happening to me? Why am I getting a bad grade? I am stupid, I am dumb, I am not smart, all of those things. What we fail to realize at most times is that there is a bigger and divine plan at hand, there is a bigger reason behind things. And today I'm gonna be discussing some reasons for that. If you clicked on this video, chances are that you are either in category A or category B. Category A, you failed a test in your class, you failed a couple of quizzes in your class, but you still have the capability to make a good grade. You just got one discouraging grade. Chances are you can try again. Category B, you absolutely failed a class. If you failed a test to get into grad school or medical school or law school, any of those options that would be category B, um, chances are you cannot try again for the test. I'm gonna be talking about reasons for category A and category B in different parts of the videos. So if you're in category B, I'll put the time in the description down below so that you can just fast forward to that part. Okay, so we're talking to category A now the reasons why you have gotten a bad grade right you wanted to get a good grade in the class you're like wow i'm gonna manifest a good grade i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna get clear on what i want i'm gonna get a good grade and then you get your grade back and you didn't get a good grade and now you're like am i gonna fail am i gonna fail the whole entire class no you're not gonna fail here's why one of the top reasons for your failure is <laughs> the law of polarity. Now I talk a lot about the law of attraction, but another universal law is the law of polarity. We do not know what we want if we never experience what we don't want. You experience this exam score because you are going to know what it's like to truly reap the benefits of passing an exam with flying colors when it happens. So it's still meant for you to manifest but for some reason the universe just wanted you to savor your high grade a little bit more that it actually made you experience failure and it's gonna make you appreciate and work for your other higher grade way more for some reason there is a divine hand at plan okay keep that in mind everything happens for a reason so there is most likely a reason for why you have to try again maybe when you go to retake the exam or maybe this time when you're studying for the exam again you go and you walk to go study and then you look on the ground and there's a twenty dollar bill there's so many things that could happen. There is a much bigger hand at play. There is a reason you have to retake that exam. Retaking that exam will make you a better, stronger person and what you came here to do on earth is grow. So it's okay, like it's fine. You just for some reason have to take the exam again. And reason number three is that you have deep-seated limiting beliefs regarding making good grades. You have deep seated rooted fears that are telling you that they are the reason for why you can't make a good grade when in reality they're just irrational fears that were given to you when you were younger and you carried them with you to this present moment so if you want to learn about how to clear the blockages for limiting beliefs when it comes to manifesting good grades i actually made a video on that i'll leave it down below in the link description as you can see the reason why you failed your exam is most likely because it's a part of your purpose any bad grades that you're receiving right now it's most likely that it is in your purpose in your life plan to not do so well at a class at the beginning of it we don't know why like we don't we don't know the exact why but what we do know and what we do trust is that it is happening for a reason it will make you a stronger person. It will grow you into somebody who has grit and determination. And maybe it's just to sharpen your manifesting 
good grade skills like all of that all of that is possible maybe the universe wants to show you what it's like to fail and then you try to manifest it and then you pass and the universe wanted to show you that it actually had your back the whole entire time so if you failed an exam or if you failed a couple quizzes or you find yourself failing a class right now you can still like turn it around and um, because it's most likely a part of your purpose that you have to learn how to manifest a good grade the point is that trust that there's a bigger hand at play category b if you absolutely failed the class if you failed the test to get into grad school or medical school or law school what i want to say to you is you're either going to want to take the exam again and actually try harder this time and go for it and if you do that means that it is in your soul plan to get this degree it is in your soul plan to become a doctor or a lawyer it is in your soul plan to have that but if you feel sort of relieved like you feel very disappointed that you made a bad grade but you feel sort of relieved that you don't have to do medical school or law school or any of that stuff it's most likely that you are living for someone else. You were actually studying that subject, you were actually applying to that grad school program, you were actually applying to that medical or law program for someone else. You weren't doing it to make you happy. You weren't doing it because it was what you wanted to do. You were doing it because it was what your parents wanted to do or your friends wanted you to do. You were not doing it out of your soul's true purpose. So, that being said, what is going to happen now is you either have the choice to retry the exam, you can totally manifest passing the second time, or you can just go deep within yourself, go on this journey of discovering your soul's true purpose and pursue that regardless of what other people think, regardless of what other people want for your life. great so those are some of the top reasons why we attract bad grades i want you to know that you attracting bad grades is not because the universe hates you it's not because god isn't listening to your prayers it's not because you're stupid it's not because you're not smart you are doing nothing wrong i hope this video helped you understand and see that there is a divine purpose and a divine plan unfolding in all things at all times and i hope this video and those top reasons helped you put things into perspective helped you see things more clearly if you need any other help feel free to comment down below any questions you might have or you can contact me on instagram i make videos monday through friday so feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you um thank you so much for watching i love you so much you are so worthy of everything that you want in this life you will have everything that you desire to have and obtain i love you bye